Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. A German wire hair pointer is a great versatile hunting dog. It's the, one of the best upland game dogs there is. It can be a close ranging dog or a far ranging dog depending on your circumstances and needs. It also makes a great water dog. It has a double coat so it can stand more extreme temperatures than a lot of the pointing braids. I'm Kathy McGoon. Um, I've been breeding German wire hair pointers for 20 years under the name of Sinister Wires. The um, German wire hair is originally part poodle pointer and German short hair and some graffon, wire hair pointing graffons. They were originally introduced in the United States in 1953 and became recognized in AKC in 1959. So they are still noted as a rare breed. There are not that many of them around, but again, they're getting more all the time. Drothar and a German wire hair pointer are DNA wise the same dog. They're genetically the same. The philosophy on training and breeding are totally different between the two dogs. The Drothar, they have to pass individual tests in breeding and performance before they're certified so they can be bred. In the United States, the German wire hair pointer is bred according to the standards of the parent club and the ethics of the breeder. The standard for the German wire hair pointer female is 22 to 24 inches, around 50 to 60 pounds on the average, with a one and a half to two inch long coat, solid liver head, maybe have a blaze with, solid, with liver ears, and a combination of patterns or ticking. They come in liver and white, white and liver, and solid liver. The male German wire hair pointer is anywhere from 24 to 26 inches, anywhere from 60 to 70 pounds average, and with the same body coloring. You want a broad head, not too big of a stop, nice tail set off the back. You want a good strong front, good front assembly so the dog can run good. If the dog is too short back and doesn't use his front efficiently, he, it is not a very efficient runner. You want a moderate amount of angle. Again, that is a personal preference. You don't want a dog that is too straight in the rear, nor do you want to over angulate it because it'll click its front feet when it runs with its rear feet or run sideways. And that is most important in the show ring. In the field, not so much. With the German wire hair, you want a good quality coat. The wire's coat is double coated. It has a outer, outer guard hairs with an inner down coating for insulation. That's what makes them good in the snow for hunting and also for water. They have, where the German short hairs do not have that kind of a coat and they will get colder easier. German wire hair is web-footed, making it a very efficient swimmer. You want a dog that doesn't fight in the water, but can use its strength to be able to propel itself in, the, in there, and also to break ice. In Germany, the uh, wire hair is used as a fur and feather type of a dog. They hunt everything, from anything that flies to anything that runs. Squirrels, rabbits, fox, duck, whatever they want it to. German wire hairs are very versatile. You know, um, they can, a lot of people just want to do duck. Some people will hunt deer. They, I've got dogs I've sold that are doing um, tracking, um, search and rescue, bomb dogs, um, narcotics dogs. 
they have a good nose. They um, can, you know, they can stand the temperatures and the training. If a um, person is just going to hunt with their dog as a personal hunting dog, they don't want anything that they have to use a horse for because most people just don't have a horse and they won't be able to find their, you know, their birds. So they dogs traditionally run out into the brush, flush whatever's out there. It takes to wing. The hunter shoots it. The dog goes and gets it and brings it back all without munching it to death. And Lit will give it to the hunter. In a field trial, they're much more trained. They go out, they find their bird, they point it, they hold that point, the board is then flushed, takes to wing, the hunter shoots it, the dog is released on a verbal command, goes and retrieves that board. They have to mark where it goes down and bring it back to hand. You do not want your German wire hair pointer to kill all of your birds or, or crush them because you can't eat what they squash. So they um, really frown on it. We would prefer, a, obviously, a soft mouth dog. German wire hairs make a good pet. They're very versatile in their behaviors and their things that you can do with them. Hunting, they are companions for backpacking, dog beach, any number of things that a family would do. We picked the dog because it would play ball. It had a good temperament, had a decent coat that we didn't have to groom, that we could take everywhere. All dogs have a potential of being good pets. It's the owners that make them that way. You also have to have good foundation stock. We have where a lot of time and effort is put into our wires to make sure that they're friendly, get along with people, and are not aggressive. We treat them as family members. They are so they are born in my house and stay in there until they're old enough to go outside with their first shots. German wire hairs can have hip dysplasia. That is the number one thing. They're, all of the breeders would test for that. Any large dog can get hip dysplasia. We always test and x-ray at two years of age to make sure that we can do the very best we can. As far as other things, any they can have seizures, um, be diabetic, you know, but not really much in this breed. I, I very seldom have to take my dogs to the vet. If with the proper shots and nutrition and care, they are very pretty much help, you know, a good healthy breed. I haven't had much trouble in over the 20 years I've been doing this. The first dog that you saw is a male. He's 18 months old. His champ he's a champion. His name is Champion Idawire's Vacation. He has not been trained for the field yet. He is too young to be broke. He will be broke at two years of age. He is very good. He places a select at the nationals. The second dog you saw is a five-month-old puppy named Sinister's Murdoch. Both of Murdoch's parents are champions in the show, and one is in the field, both. So there, one is a dual champion and one is just a show champion and is working on his master hunter. We have great expectations for Murdoch. He has great structure, good texture in his coat, and a nice dark pigment and good eye color. He has shown great promise in the field and we can't wait to see him run. The third dog you saw is a female. Her name is Ida Wire Sinisters, along came Polly. She is 11 months old and this was her second field trial. She received a third place today. She has great drive in the field, a strong nose, a beautiful stylish point, and we can't wait to see her as she progresses and matures.
Anybody that would like to own a German wire hair pointer should have a backyard. If they don't have a backyard or they can be raised in a condo, you must take them for walks daily. A dog that is bored will destroy some things. They like to go to the dog park, but they have to have exercise. So please think seriously before you consider a German wire hair pointer for your home. The Sinister Wires is a family affair. Without my, my kids and grandchildren, I would not be able to continue doing what I so love. With my friends helping me, we show and do field trials, hunt tests, and generally have a good time. The dogs, for me, is more than a hobby. They're family. The wires for us are the glue that binds us together. We love our dogs and can't imagine not having them. For me, I would be devastated to be not be able to continue. This is a legacy that my husband and I started together, and even though he's no longer here, we still we every time we do something, we remember the way Dad would have done it.